safe. So yeah, tire pressure on the rear tire is down to 21. Slowly going down. My exit's just up here. So I'm hoping we can make it on the way out the property. I just wanted to spend some time getting the site ready to get the RV out there. And this day has just been a mess. So anyway, I think hopefully we'll make it. Slowly drop the pressure. Normal pressure for the tire is like 31, 32. And I hit, I guess I hit something because I heard flopping. And uh, now it's down to 20 pounds. I don't know how far it go. We had like a mile left. Yeah, one mile. So hopefully I make it. All right, Dave out. All right, so made it to the property with the flat tire. So gotta change that. That'll be first thing I gotta do, but let me run through what I gotta do and flip you around. All right, so. I guess that's the first thing. You can see it's running flat. Get that changed. Before I do that, I'm gonna unload the mulch I got. Gotta move these cinder blocks. Got a fire going. Gotta help keep us warm. Us, me warm. All right, so. The RV's gonna go. Power brush to move that couple this tree clean up this tree get these trees going it should give me plenty of room get my truck out when I put it in I gotta move that pile and these logs in that pile over to the wood lot which is in front so they go from there there over there, so that's a lot of walking back and forth, but that's what the day is today. Once I get everything cleaned out, then I can spread the mulch. I want the trailer sitting on something other than the mud. So I put some mulch underneath it. All right, well, and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, Dave out and some trash wood to burn. Got me a, me my sandwich. And then, uh, hold on a minute. Got some uh, smoked fish. Smoked some catfish. It's excellent. So, we need some lunch, and then we'll get on that tire. Get the rest of the stuff done. So, this fire is a little bit of a game changer. It makes it nicer out here when it's cold. So, a place I'm sitting. Get warmed up real quick. All right, do that. Well, so it took me about 20 minutes forward to figure out how to lower the spare tire. Your directions lack, and there is no guide to. You. Thank you very much. Let's see how the rest of this goes. I like about everything else about your truck, but, and I like that you give me a full size spare. But if you want me to pull my spare tire down, you gotta give me access to it. That'll take forever.
Yeah, not as fast as they did on Christmas Story, but that's a cheesy looking tire anyways, isn't it? Dag. But at least it's full size. So yeah, can't complain about that. All right, Dave out. Already, let's move some stone. Well, actually, they're like four by four post boxes. Try that fancy stuff. Bam, bam, done. Locks cleaned up. All right, let's go to the next one. All right. Bam, bam, done. Got that done. And if you turn, turn with me now. I think I'm doing right. Look, look, look. It's all over there. Dave, why would you move it over there? Because that old pine is pretty good tender for the fire. So that's what I've been using. I've been pulling from that uh, pile. It's always wet on the bottom, so we'll see. But whatever's left in the spring. We'll get rid of it. All right, now to do this pile and move it over to the wood yard. Other side of that trailer over there. So let me get on that and uh, get that going. All right. Bam! And we're done. Got it all done. You can see all it's been moved. You didn't get to see any of the work. And we'll be over this way some. I would take a walk. And you can see da, 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 the log piles. Log pile one, log pile two. They were here, now they're gone. See, this is all open now. So now. When I drive my truck in, I can turn, I can pull the trailer in and back my truck out. Because the problem is, the trailer's got to be pulled in this way, that way. So, um, with the end of it right there at the utility pole. And so the front of it's going to be about where this is right now. So we're going to measure that out here in just a second. All right, till then, Dave out. It's Dave. So out here walking up the pistol range. I'll show you something that I saw while he's moving all these logs. See if we can get a picture good view of it. Alright, hold on a minute, I'm gonna turn you around so you can see it. Alright, so hopefully you're seeing that. What? That is a huge, huge wasp nest sitting back there. So yeah. I'm thinking I have to bring my shotgun out and tear that bad boy up. I haven't seen a big one like that in a long time. All right, Dave out. Yeah, probably about 10 bags short. I'm sure you got 20. I thought about getting 20, or 10. But to make it the right thickness, I want a little bit so you can see. I didn't realize they were off that much. There you go. You can kind of see where the pad's gonna be. Still plenty, plenty enough of a road to get through. And again, the end of it, you can see the right down. 
down there. See that? That's the end. So up around here. 35 feet. I think it'll look good there. And then it should give me plenty of room to for that cord to reach the electric box. I don't want to put us in a secondary cord. I want the full length of the cord to meet it, which I think it will from that point. So anyway, that's it for me today. Warm me out. A busy day. We got a I think we got a lot done. Definitely ready. We can move the well, we move the camper out. Assuming I bring with me some more mulch. But everything else is ready. I can cut those trees down later. Everything looks good. Alright. Hey, it's Dave. You knew that. Because here I am. So Woo! Ford, I gotta give you credit too. So I went back and looked at that tire. And what you did, it's really clever. You took an old year's model, you know, previous year model that we didn't you're not producing anymore. You took one of their wheels and tires, brand new ones, stuck it underneath this model, and used it as the spare. That was brilliant. Way to go. It made sense to me why you would do that. That's a good move, cost-wise. And uh, you're using up your old stock, and you're giving your customer what they want with the truck is a full-size spare. Now, getting that spare in and out, that's a different thing. I swear mine did not have a tube on it. If there is a tube, then you guys will have to show me where it is, Ford people. I didn't see no tube. There's just open space, and that tool could go completely left or completely right. There is no, nothing. So, um, anyways, that's why it took so long. Finally figured it out. It angled where you put it in. It angled to the left. Once I got the angle to the left, it hooked right into something, and then it would turn. And so... 20 minutes of mess around with that. That was a waste of time. Time I'll never get back. And anyway, all good. And it's interesting to see what happened to the tire. I do think I got puncture warranty on my tires, but I'm sure because I didn't rotate it or something, it's voided. Um, it always works out like that for me. Very seldom do I ever get the benefit of a warranty that I paid for. It always seems to be some reason why I don't get it. And usually it's my fault, but it's just, you know, common sense things that you don't think about. Um, especially like today's tires, the way they, uh, the way they sit with the pressure gauges and everything. And, you know, if you make sure your tires are aligned, I don't, why do you need to rotate? It's not because you're going to have one overpressured and one under, so you're going to ride different. I don't know. It's crazy. But I'm sure there'll be some reason why I don't get the warranty. All right, enough blabbering. Remember what I always say? Make kindness your business. That'll be a challenge for me. <laughs> Monday or Tuesday when I go to the tire shop, I gotta make some kindness there.